Today I'm fishing a Rawson and Perrin one piece split cane rod. It's five foot long and it's rated a zero weight. Made specifically for Sunray, they're available to order in bespoke lengths and weights. But this one, this one's for me. I've lined it with a Stuart Crofts one weight because that's the lowest one I've got. And I've put a nine foot tippet on of hybrid going down to five pounds. And I'm going to fish for rainbow trout about this big. Oh shit. Okay, Rawson and Barry, zero weight, five foot, one piece, split game rod. Wait for Sunray, Stuart Croft's one way flight line. A dramatic whisper and a trout just in the middle of his little pool. Wish me luck. Okay, I've pricked that fish twice, so I'm not going to get into that sort of, I'm not going to get into an argument with it. I'll let this pool rest, I'm going to do some other things. I'm shortening my leader on this, it's only a five foot rod. So getting the, the even with the Stuart Cross short headed fly line on, getting this rod to load at short range is pretty, you know, presents a challenge. So. I'm going down to six foot of tippet. I was filming here and some guy dressed in all full camo nets, bags, the whole nine yards, <laughs> like he was going stalking for deer. Came stomping up this bank, stomp, stomp, stomp. Hello there, I see you've got a nice camera. <laughs> I said, I don't normally do this, but it's so flat calm, there's no fish rising. I'm gonna fish a tiny little spider, New Zealand style, off the shank of an F fly or a plume tip or something. With a five foot one piece zero weight cane rod, of course. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. I've never fished this style before. I've never caught a fish on a duo or a bung or anything New Zealand style, anything that's suspended underneath a fly. Now this is rubbish. I'm just stood here looking at a, a fly. Where's the fun in that? I don't like this. This is boring. I can't do this. I won't do this. I'm not doing this. I'm going to find a rising fish in this weather, whether I'm, whether whoever likes it or not. I ain't stood here looking at a fly, waiting for something that's underneath it to disappear. I'm not doing it. I can just see one fish just sat in the current. He's not feeding, he's not rising, but he's there.
finally. Pretty fish. It's a hard one fish on the Rawson and Perrin split chain rod. Happy with that. I don't know if you can see this loop, but this is, there's nothing sloppy or flabby about this cane rod at all. This is a very, very responsive, fairly fast action one piece cane rod with the Stuart Cross micro thin fly line. There's nothing in the rings to make it wobble around in your hands. It's just a very modern, progressive fly rod. There's nothing old fashioned about it at all. This is an absolute joy to use. There was a guy over there where I took that fish. He was using something like a nine or a 10 foot, seven, eight weight fish in a bung. And he was casting on this side. The fish were going over there. He was going over there. The fish were coming on this side. And I watched this dance for three hours. When I finally saw an opportunity to cast from this side, I took it. Three, four casts on a five foot zero weight. I took the fish on a dry fly. Lawson and Perrin have done a genius taper in this rod. Genius. 